energy use in the human body. Heat transfer is how the body loses or gains energy. Energy will naturally transfer as heat from hotter to colder places. The body is affected by four processes of heat transfer, radiation, conduction, evaporation, and convection. Our bodies emit electromagnetic radiation. Our bodies absorb radiation from surrounding objects in the sun. When radiation is emitted or absorbed by the body, thermal energy is lost or gained. Thermal radiation from the human body can be seen with a thermal infrared camera. Conduction is the transfer of thermal energy by direct contact. When you touch a solid object, the atoms and molecules in your skin interact with the atoms and molecules in the object. Atoms and molecules that are vibrating at faster speeds have higher temperatures and will cause nearby atoms and molecules to vibrate faster and increase their temperature. For example, when you step on cold pavement with your bare feet, heat is transferred between your feet and the pavement. Heat is lost from your body by evaporation, especially when you sweat or are wet. Here we see drops of water, initially at skin temperature just like sweat, cooling the hand by evaporation. Energy is required for water molecules to leave the liquid state and go into vapor. The energy required for a liquid to evaporate is called heat of vaporization. Some molecules in water will have enough thermal energy to leave their liquid. Water takes your body thermal energy away when it evaporates. Convection is the transfer of thermal energy by direct contact with a fluid. Outside on a cold day, you feel colder when the wind is blowing. The moving cold air removes the air around you that your body has warmed up. The faster the air around you travels, the faster the heat is lost or gained from the environment. Heat balance is the transfer of thermal energy. To maintain a steady temperature, the body thermal energy must stay constant. The amount of thermal energy leaving the body must equal the amount entering it. If the heat balance is not maintained, heat stress and hypothermia can develop. We are mammals and need a constant core temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. 37 degrees Celsius is usually a higher temperature than that of the immediate environment, so without generating chemical energy from food or body fat, all the heat transfer mechanisms we have seen would cause our core temperatures to fall. To balance these heat losses, we have to convert the chemical energy in food into heat. Only when heat losses are balanced by heat gain do we maintain a healthy constant core temperature.